Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two identical quarter circles fully inscribed uh, in a rectangle uh, A, B, C, D. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, A and uh, C are the centers of these uh, quarter circles and they are tangent to each other at this point uh, P. And moreover, one of the side lengths uh, of this uh, rectangle A, B, C, D is uh, 8 uh, units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region, this area and uh, this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our action plan. Since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region combined. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, area of this green shaded region is going to be equal to the area of this uh, rectangle uh, ABCD minus uh, this blue shaded area where the blue region area is uh, equal to the area of these uh, two quarter circles uh, combined. And now we know that this uh, AD is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle and likewise uh, this uh, BC is the radius uh, of this quarter circle as well. Let me label uh, this uh, radius as our lowercase r. Likewise, this is going to be lowercase r as well. And furthermore, uh, this side length uh, AD is going to be the width uh, of this uh, rectangle ABCD as well. So therefore, now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, radius r. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact the centers and the point of contact are collinear. And here in our case, A and C are the centers of these two quarter circles. And this point P is the point of tangency. So therefore, if we connect these points A and C, then all these three points are going to lie on the very same line. And moreover, this angle is going to be 90 degrees since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle. And let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side length uh, CD is going to be equal to this uh, side length uh, AB. So therefore, if this side length is 8, then this uh, AB side length is going to be 8 units as well. And furthermore, we can see that this uh, AP is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. So this radius is going to be lowercase r. Likewise, this uh, CP is going to be the radius as well. So it's going to be lowercase r as well. So therefore, this whole uh, diagonal uh, AC is going to be 2 times r. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC whose uh, side lengths are uh, 8, uh, radius R and this uh, 2 times R. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me call our longest leg uh, as our side C. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 8. So this become 8 square plus b is r. So r square equal to c is 2 times r whole square. So this is going to give us 64 plus r square equal to 4 times r square. Let's go ahead and subtract r square from both sides. This is gone. So therefore we are ended up with the 3r square equals to 64. Let's divide both sides uh, by 3 to isolate r square. So we got uh, r square equal to 64 divided by 3. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both sides. So therefore uh, we are going to have a radius uh, r equal to square root of uh, 64 is simply 8 divided by square root of uh, 3 and this is our radius r. 
So thus the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circles uh, turns out to be 8 uh, divided by square root of uh, 3. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, rectangle uh, A, B, C, D. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times width. In our case, uh, the length of this rectangle is 8 and the width uh, of this uh, rectangle is 8 uh, divided by square root of 3. So therefore, the area of this rectangle is going to be 8 uh, times uh, 8 uh, divided by square root of uh, 3. Let's go ahead and simplify. That is going to give us uh, 64 divided by square root of uh, 3. And since we got a denominator with the radical sign, so therefore we are going to rationalize it by multiplying and dividing by square root of uh, 3. And now square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to be simply 3. So therefore this uh, rectangle area is going to become uh, 64 times the square root of 3 divided by 3. So thus the rectangle uh, ABCD area turns out to be 64 times square root of 3 divided by 3. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square where r is the radius. And since we are dealing with this uh, quarter circle, so therefore I am going to divide this one by 4. So therefore the area of this uh, quarter circle is going to be pi divided by 4 times uh, our radius is 8 divided by square root of 3. So I'm going to put down uh, 8 uh, divided by square root of uh, 3 whole uh, square. So therefore let's go ahead and simplify. This is going to give us pi divided by 4 times uh, 64 divided by 3 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 16 pi divided by 3. So therefore the quarter circle area turns out to be 16 pi divided by 3. And now let's make an observation once again the blue region area is going to be equal to 2 times the area of these uh, quarter circle and the area of each quarter circle is 16 pi divided by 3. So therefore this uh, blue region area is going to be 2 times uh, 16 pi divided by 3. So if we multiply that is going to give us uh, 32 pi divided by 3. So therefore the blue region area turns out to be 32 pi divided by 3. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region and we already figured out uh, the rectangle uh, ABCD area which is uh, 64 times square root of 3 divided by 3 whereas this uh, blue area is uh, 32 pi divided by 3. We are going to fill in the blanks uh, over here. So let's go ahead and write it down. So the rectangle ABCD area is uh, 64 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 minus the blue area is uh, 32 pi divided by 3. And now let's make an observation. We can see 32 is in common from the numerator and 3 is uh, common from the denominator. So therefore we can write uh, this one 32 divided by 3 times uh, 2 times square root of uh, 3 minus uh, pi. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 32 times uh, 2 times square root of 3 minus pi divided by 3 square units. And that could also be written as uh, 3.44 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.